am really pleased with how hard our team is working in practice. You know, I have a saying, if you take care of practice, uh, the competition or the meets take care of themselves. I also have another saying is you're either getting better or you're getting worse. There really is no in-between. Mark DeSchwart uh, right now is probably uh, our uh, best swimmer in terms of being able to contribute in individual events. In his individual events, in both the distance events and the 200 IM and the 200 butterfly, and honestly, he could go any event and have an opportunity to beat anybody on almost any team that we swim. They have an excellent athletic program there at St. Bonaventure, one which we have great respect for. And uh, both teams have won multiple times the Atlantic 10 Conference Swimming and Diving uh, titles over the years. Uh, this year, both their women and their men are very good. Uh, we have great uh, respect for them. Uh, it's going to be very close meets in a very challenging uh, six lane, 25 yard facility that was probably built in the 50s or 60s. Well, Barry Thompson is one of the top sprinters in the Horizon League. Uh, he's gotten off to a tremendous start. Uh, he's been picked by the Horizon League to, as Swimmer of the Week on two occasions. He kind of uh, anchors our team in many respects. And uh, uh, not only is he important in his individual events, Barry is, but in his uh, um, relay contributions. Well, I think as a newcomer, Justin Kermack really stands out at us. He's very versatile. He can go the butterfly events, and he's one of the top butterflyers in the history of our program. Already we know that. Going in, he can go the 200 or the 400 IM. He can go the 200 back. Uh, he can also go the distance events. So Justin Kermack is a terrific addition to our team this year. The women uh, are anchored by great leadership from Karis Ben, who was uh, Swimmer of the Week, picked as Swimmer of the Week. Alice Somerville, who's also been chosen as a Rising League Swimmer of the Week. And uh, Casey Cummings on the diving side. First of all, uh, we're a swimming and diving team, which the NCA recognizes as a swimming team. We actually have two events, which are diving events. Our divers are extremely important to our program. Our women's divers took one, two, three against Denison last Friday night, and if they had not done that, we would have not been able to win over Denison. So that shows you the balance we have on our women's team, and that's why we're so excited about our women's team. One of the things that I really want to emphasize is uh, the way we structure our program in swimming and diving that all the coaches independently coach their groups. Uh, I have one of the top Division I or any division diving coaches, a veteran coach in Rich Carp, who's been coaching for many years, some of the best divers in the conference. And in terms of how many not only in the conference, but really in the nation over the years, both when he was at Cleveland State initially, then at Eastern Michigan University, now at Cleveland State again. Uh, Andrew Hancock, who comes uh, to us originally as a swimmer from Sydney, Australia, uh, he uh, handles our uh, stroke strokers in our middle distance, but he kind of is a coordinator, not only for recruiting, but kind of coordinates all of our um, swimming uh, training in many respects. And then April Wu, who has been doing our dry land program, she comes from Honolulu, Hawaii, attended Pacific University. I cannot uh, commend her enough for the great job she's doing with the sprint group and with the entire team in terms of their dry land. We have never worked harder out of the water as we have this year.